Hey guys, welcome back to Create a Deliberate Life. Hey, I got my spoon flower package today. I haven't even opened it yet, but I wanted to share it with you guys because this is my first time. So here we go. I'm really, really curious to see what she looks like. So, ah, still. And by the way, I ordered this on the 31st and today is the 4th. Um, so yeah. I'm pretty good oh my god I love it you guys look isn't that adorable this is um, what size this will eventually be but oh my gosh look how that's gonna save me so much time and look at the quality and this is just their basic cotton hope you can see it oh my god I love it now this one is the one that I just did um, I have GIMP I do not have Photoshop on my computer. Um, let see if I can zoom in. Not really. Um, oh, there we go. A little bit. A little bit. Um, but this is the one. I did this one in GIMP and I just did it with whatever programs that they had to give me a little color. So, uh, let me see if I can get my thing here. There we go. So you can see it's got the faintest little bit of blushies, which I gave him. And this is just, um, I think it was the paint, the, the brush tool, just at like a, a different um, transparency, but I love it. So I am going to attempt to sew these guys up and we'll come back and we'll show you what they look okay. like. Okay. Welcome back. I got him sewed up. I put a little bit of like foam legs on him. Um, okay, so there's some adjustments that I need to make. I'm not gonna deny that. But ultimately, look how it's going to save me so much time. These, that's just a marker. I mean, <laughs> that's hideous. But this one is so, I am so bright. And look at the detail. I could never get that detail on, on that one if I had to hand draw it. And for reals, I don't know anybody who would pay for this, but it was a concept. It was an idea, and I just wanted to see if he would work. He does work. Look how he lines up pretty good, too. I did a pretty good job there. So, yeah. So now, I'm thinking, like, these doll faces that I'm working on, um, if I could uniform these just for the faces. The rest of it I could sew together and do myself, but I need to have like um, a 50s makeup style, 60s makeup style, 40s makeup style, 30s, 20s, whatever. And I could just print out these and just cut the faces out and I wouldn't have to try to worry about um, getting the look right. So, um, also I need to, I haven't stuffed her nose very well right now, so. I, I really wanted a pointy little upturned note. With my spoon flower, if anybody's interested in this, um, you can order these little sample guides. These are like a buck. And what this is, is it shows you all of the colors with their hex codes. Um, and these are the ones that will show up the most vibrant on all the fabrics. And then also for a dollar, you can order this uh, swatch. Uh, little thing here. This is also just a dollar and inside you get a sample of all the fabrics that Foon's Spoonflower sells and their feel and all that. So I'm really looking for something that I can make my dolls with, honestly. Um, something that's a little bit stiffer than just plain cotton, not quite as um, stiff as just canvas, but yeah. So this one's nice right here. That one's really nice. That might be a good one right there. I'm going to have to pull that one to the side. But, um, yeah. So all kinds of things. If you're wanting to make anything. Ooh. Oh, I got ideas for this one. This one is like a suede. Oh, that's... Oh, yeah. So, yeah. So all different kinds of things. If you're interested in spoon flour or making your own... Oh, my gosh. It has minky. Oh, sweet Jesus. I'm so all over this. <laughs> so, and then they send you different um, swatches of other things that they carry. This one is their cotton spandex jersey, and this one would be good for like t-shirts or whatever, um, or whatever you need to make stretchy, but that one's good. Um, wallpapers, hmm, there you go. This one's water activated wallpaper. We've got, um, this one's self um, stick and peel. I mean, 
they're, they might be labeled as wallpapers, but just imagine all the things that you could make with these. These sticky peel and stick ones, they're very fabric like that. I mean, there's all kinds of things you could do with that. The satin gift paper, or sorry, satin uh, gift wrap. This one I have an idea to make like um, little printed houses and you, then you just fold them together. So it'll be like a like maybe a cartoon modern village or something and then you print it out and put it together. Now I would sell the pattern for these um, but <laughs> I would have I need one to put together and then um, we already looked at that one I think we I think I gave me two water activated ones but yeah so oh my gosh my whole world is opening up with ideas now so. all right so that's it I'm done I'm happy um, I need to really refine some patterns now and get this show on the road, right? All right, um, I might make another video today, I'm not sure, but I want to upload this one now so you guys can see. I'm so, 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 so thrilled with Spoonflower. So if anybody has any fabric needs, doll designs, stuffed animal designs, quilts, you name it, whatever, purses, totes, whatever. I recommend Spoonflower. My goodness, they sent that in a good uh, fast time too. So yay for me. All right, I'm gonna let you go and I will talk to you either Wednesday or I don't know, maybe tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye.